Hi, good afternoon. This is Owen Sanchez from WeTel TV. And right now, we are here at the Botswana Pavilion in Expo 2020. And we are very much privileged to have um, just right uh, next to me here, the very beautiful, you know, the, the pavilion head here that could tell us more about Botswana. May I get your name, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Good afternoon. My name is Itumeleng Teseletso. I am the Pavilion Director for the Republic of Botswana Pavilion in Expo 2020 Dubai. Very good. Thank you very much, ma'am. And I would like to know more about this pavilion and, and then um, how have you prepared and how many months have you done this pavilion that looks very, very uh, astonishing in the eyes of all the people who's viewing it right now? Well, our pavilion took uh, quite a bit of time to prepare and um, from way back as when we got uh, a letter from the government of the United Arab Emirates and our government acceding to the request for Botswana to participate, we then started preparing for this uh, participation and uh, our brand team then started working on the look and feel of our pavilion and it took a lot because we had to um, come up with a perfect representation of Botswana from every aspect because we had to look at uh, the different facets of our country. We had to look at the people, we had to look at our our governance, we had to look at our, our, our tourism, we had to look at the sectors that we want to promote, we had to look at the opportunities in our country. So we ended up with what we have and we believe it's a perfect representation of Botswana in Dubai in Expo 2020. Very nice of that. So just recently, the president of Botswana had traveled to UAE to visit us here. And we've had this very huge investment event happened in Ritz-Carlton Hotel. So I'm sure he came here and he had visited and then he had met his people in Botswana. Is that right? That's very true because we do have people who are in the diaspora and uh, this market is one of them. So the president actually had to touch base with the people who live here in Dubai. But the president was basically here to talk directly to investors to tell them that Botswana is open for business and to give them assurance that we will facilitate them to set up businesses in Botswana. In a fastest and easiest way that they could have. Of course, of yes, course. Definitely. We lay a red carpet for our investors and as an institution, Botswana Investment and Trade Center, we take care of investors when they set up in Botswana and we, we, are, we, we, we really take that seriously. And we are here looking for investors to come and set up in Botswana. Right, okay, so I'm very quite interested. Do you happen to have your consulate office here on an embassy for Botswana? Our embassy is in Kuwait and it's looking at the Middle East. Right. OK, so everybody who requires some kind of a consular services needs to uh, go to Kuwait or you've got an online system. How do they uh, manage these people who are currently staying here as, uh, you know, as living and, and working in the UAE? They obviously have an online system, so you can apply for your visa online. But if you need to physically go to the office, it's based in Kuwait understand okay now i'm very much interested for the travel and tourism of botswana can you tell us more about it well botswana has been uh, africa's best kept secret and we are now coming out because we cannot be a secret anymore okay. so if you want to go and enjoy the serenity of the country you must physically come to botswana um, we have uh, exclusive uh, tour, tour operation sites we also have exclusive hotels if you are one person who uh, maybe is a celebrity and don't want to be followed around by paparazzi, okay. uh, you know, reporting everything about what you are doing, Botswana is a perfect place for you to go and hide out. Wow. So we have beautiful wildlife, we have untamed wildlife, uh, we have beautiful waters, we have the World Heritage Site, the Okavango Delta. Um, wow. We invite people to come to Botswana. We also have the desert side of uh, our country, right. which is similar to the terrain here in the UAE. So we invite people to come to Botswana and experience that. And we do have our people who are very cultured. So we want you to come and also experience that side of Botswana. We want you to come and interact with our people. Right. We want you to come and taste our food. Wow. We want you to come and dance with us. So we invite you to come to Botswana. 
Right, so you've got certain uh, festivities that you are currently um, having and celebrating it. Is it monthly or is there something that we would be uh, interested to to come and visit to Botswana in the near future, let's say a few months you know, after that you will be expecting to have some kind of festivities? We do have cultural activities which happen throughout the year. Um, the Botswana Tourism Organization actually releases the activities for the year so um, and those are it, it shows the dates um, and we will be able to share that with you, Thank you. so that when you come to Botswana you can come and join us in some of those activities we also have the sport tourism where we have the you know the 1000 desert race we also have the Kawajun challenge where we have when, when is that going to be happening? those happen around normally around winter in Botswana okay. so, um, so yeah Currently, what is the weather this time? The weather right now is very warm and rainy. Uh, oh. Yes, yes, it's warm and rainy. Uh, and towards the end of April, it's going to get cooler and we'll be getting uh, ready to go into our winter uh, around uh, June, May, June. Okay, so what is there any direct flight from UAE going to Botswana? There currently is no direct flight, but uh, inshallah there will be one soon. Uh, and uh, for you to access uh, Botswana, you have to either go through South Africa or through, through Ethiopia uh, to get to Botswana. But right. So how, how long is the how long is the trip from here to Botswana? From here to South Africa is about uh, eight, nine hours. Okay. And then through Ethiopia, from here to uh, Addis Ababa is about six hours. And then from Addis Ababa directly to Habron is another six hours. But uh, Joburg, uh, Habron is about one hour. So if you take about nine to get to Joburg and then from Johannesburg to Botswana, it's about an hour. So it's, yeah. Including the stopover and everything will be 12 hours. Uh, less than 12 hours. Less than 12 hours. Yes. Interesting. Okay. So now we've got the flights, we've got the interesting destination. How are we going to get our visas? You obviously have to apply through the embassy, and uh, Botswana is open to the world. So okay. we don't have any problems accepting people from the world. We actually no, are perfect. inviting people to come to Botswana. Okay. Yes. So how are we going to apply for our visa at this time since your consular office is in Kuwait? So if I'm coming here from Dubai, how will I uh, access the services of obtaining a visa to Botswana if I need to travel? You do an online application. Yes, you can pl apply on, on online. And usually how many days will it, are we going to be receiving the response that yes, it's approved and I hope approved. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how long it takes because obviously there has to be some due diligence that is done because right. we have to make sure that people who come into our country are legit people yes. and uh, don't have any criminal intentions. Sure. So obviously with that process having to be done, uh, obviously it takes a few days to get the, the approval. Great. So this is a very, very good interview coming from you. And I would uh, want to give you the floor, the full floor for you to encourage people to visit Botswana at this time. Uh, Botswana is a perfect place to visit. Uh, it's one of the most peaceful countries in the world. Okay. And uh, it's a strategic strategically located in the epicenter of SADC. Right. So it's easy to transverse the terrains in Botswana. And if you are crazy about, uh, you know, um, like riding and driving in the dunes and rough terrain of the natural safari, come to Botswana. If you are interested in walking on a flat, uh, salty surface, Pakadi uh, Kadi salt pens, I place for you to go. If you are interested to uh, play on the sand dunes, come to Botswana. If you want to do a canoe uh, a cruise in the water, the Okavango Delta is a place for you to do it. And if you want to fly over the Delta, um, the Maung area are also a, a good place for you to fly over the Delta. So uh, 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 everything that you would like to do is possible in Botswana. And if you want to see the wildlife in its own natural environment, Botswana is a place to be. And if you're more on the people side, and you want to dance and, 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 and share a meal and mingle with the people of the Republic of Botswana, we have villages and towns where you will be doing that uh, perfectly and enjoying it with the people of the Republic of Botswana. Very nice. So it's pretty exciting now how to go to Botswana and most probably we have to prepare our uh, backpacks and let's go. And this will be part of my bucket list now. 
thank you very much for this uh, wonderful interview with you and i hope to see you in botswana soon right thank you i'll be waiting to receive you in botswana very good thank you very much and this is owen from wetel tv at the pavilion of botswana